Genjin Impact is finally getting an anime and I've got to admit, I'm very surprised it hasn't happened a lot sooner because of the majorly of how like big the game has been. And I was generally like kind of wondering why, but obviously right now after the kind of recent, I think 3.1 stream that's been kind of dropped, Genjin, Genshin Impact is finally having an anime. And I don't know many of the anime studios whatsoever. I get told like, oh, this studio does this and this studio does that. But I think how you, you mention it is called Ufotable or Fotable. Um, I apologize if I got that wrong. It's a very, I, I, I don't know studios names that well, but I was generally kind of impressed of the, um, the, the kind of animation that we've seen so far. Although I think that because it's kind of a trailer, they're not gonna do too much. But when I was kind of watching the trailer myself, I was like, oh, that's, it, it looked a bit kind of like, oh, we're just seeing the area. And obviously I don't think that this is Mondstadt. I don't think it's anything. I think this is Celestria. I think this is basically an introduction to the Traveler as well as obviously the Traveler's sister or Traveler's brother, whichever you really want to go there. Basically Aethia and Lumine. Lumine. And I kind of, like you see Paimon there. And obviously these three are like the kind of biggest characters that you see within Genshin at the very beginning because they're the main ones that you play. And obviously Paimon uh, comes in and flies around. But I generally kind of think that this is going to be a fantastic anime. I am very much looking forward to it. And as you can see, generally the animation looks beautiful. So if you're like me and you don't know the studios that's in this, first of all, right here, we can see that they do Demon Slayer, they do Fate Zero. Um, they've done quite a few. And now I've not really gone all the way back while well, I kind of have, but kind of seeing these sorts of animations, like I know I've heard of most of these, but I've never actually sat down and watched it, but I kind of really want to sit down now and kind of go through some of them. So I can kind of get a gist of the sort of animation style that we're going to get. I know Demon Slayer is absolutely kind of fantastic for, for what it is. So I kind of really want to know, oh, I really like this. I, I know I'm going to enjoy the animation. I'm just kind of really excited. So ju jumping over to IGM, they've just said, Genshin Impact is officially becoming an anime as developer. Hoyoverse has announced a new collaboration with anime, anime bleh, animation studio um, Ufootable. Again, probably got that wrong. Announced during the game's 3.1 special program, a three minute concept trailer was later shared on the Genshin Impact Twitter below, showed off the art style and feel of what the anime will eventually be. Genshin is this just a, uh, given that this is just a concept trailer, it will most likely take some time before the final episodes are released and Hoyoverse have branded this as a long term project. Um, so pretty much I'm not going to kind of really go into what they've all said. Um, so what does it say? No, it's, it's all, all fine. But the, for the fact is that we're seeing this and a lot of people are really excited about this. To me, I kind of really want to know how this is going to work. Is it going to be the main, main characters? Because the way that I kind of see it, and I think this, if this is not like a prequel to how we see, um, the characters interact from Aether as well, or Aether as well as Lumine, is it gonna focus on one? Is it gonna focus maybe on two? Have they split up? Now, there are two possible ways that I can see this happening. One, it is going to feature maybe just Aether. Maybe it's just his journey of getting his sister back because obviously with most anime tropes, it could be the fact that, you know, you, you, he gets all these girls to fall in love with him, etc., etc. Or it could be about Lumine and therefore her journey and friendship and all that. So it's either, I know it's gonna be one or two, or it could be the fact that we see kind of a switch. One, that it could be like, say, as I say, it's like, say 12 episodes. Maybe six of those episodes are gonna be about Aether going around and it's swapped. So you kind of get a different perspective about it. I kind of wanna see the different, like the looks of it, because I feel like this would be something completely different. I, I'm a big fan of Aether and seeing this and how anime works, it could go around for him. I would actually quite see Lumine because I think that she would be quite a cool character. I have not played as her character in the game, but I know how important she is to people. But I kind of have a feeling right now we're gonna be going straight to kind of Aether. I think he's gonna be the one that's gonna be the main lead. And I, I kind of like it because I feel like I can see Lumine just causing more more problems and attacking and kind of like doing deals or whatnot. You know, basically from what we've seen when she's 
aligned herself with the abyss mages and stuff like that so i'm kind of wondering how this is going to go but for seeing the animation style from um obviously from demon slayer and seeing little bits from um fate zero i kind of i'm all for this i'm really excited and the kind of opening the, the trailer that they've dropped now it looks okay it's just more scenery but i think i would have preferred seeing more of like say a tra uh, like you know them going to monster you know going looking around you know meeting paimon a little bit one thing i will say is like they know that they've already got the the voice cast so i don't think that we're gonna hear someone else's paimon so i'm really excited to see how the the game cast comes straight into this is this going to be straight away are we going to see a lot more of like certain characters will venti travel with them for most of the time or is it just going to be mainly you see just one person one thing i am very excited on seeing is rosaria because damn i love rosaria so i'm very much looking forward to seeing her in it i just hope she's just not a background character it's like oh hey rosaria and then you never see her ever again but to be fair i'm really extremely pumped for this entire series I, I'm wondering how many episodes is it going to be ongoing? I can see it being ongoing and I feel like the traction is just going to pull up all the time. So yeah, I am extremely excited. So tell me what you think about this. How do you think they're going to do the entire anime? Is it going to be exactly like the game or are we just going to see, say, basic stuff? Are we going to see a prequel to leading up to it or is it going to be something completely different? Let me know down below in those comments. As always, thanks for liking, favorite, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Channel を support してくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。